This is a drill level laser. I can adjust the angle. It can go like that and tilt down like that. I'm also using the crane to lift the boat up as well. I'm just trying to get the gunnel to be a really straight line. So I've got the line pretty good now. I just used the jack to lift the side up like that. I don't think that looks really good. This straight edge, I don't think was ever else I've noticed is somehow I've got a crack here now. The, the other side's okay. Uh, something else to fix. If I can get the strips on straight, I'll be happy. So that's what I try to do. More dummy fitting. I'm just gonna leave this bit unbuttoned. I wanna see what happens when I loosen that, but I need to do the other side first. This is what it looks like from inside the boat. I'll just fiberglass straight over these screws and then remove the screws after. That's just on loose at the moment. That's just to hold the strip straight. This is the old aluminium strip. I don't care about it. I've got good stainless stuff. I angled it up intentionally to try and creep it up. I'm totally showing off, but I am absolutely loving this crane. I can get my work to where it's comfortable for me. It took me far too long to fit the deck to the hull to consider putting glue on the deck mating edges while fitting it. Gluing the deck to the hull after it was fitted was the easiest way I could think of sealing the deck to the hull from the outside. I just used wedges to give me a good enough gap to squeeze some Sikaflex up. As I got further to the back of the boat, the wedges weren't as necessary because there was more flex in the hull. After cleaning up the Sikaflex, I could just swing the rail back to where it wanted to be and drill back into the holes that I'd already done before and repeat this on the other side. doing all this work and I've noticed that there's a massive gap behind here. The hull isn't as thick as what I'd want it to be so I've started to beef the sides up and I've gone this far I may as well do everything what I think is proper so I'm going to cut this out. Ready. 
So it's worried about the gap in between the hulls and this bit. I can't see. I've been so much pain. This stuff is nasty. Okay, so I'm ready to see if when I let go of this rope, Hopefully the transom will flex back out and catch into this lip better. Hopefully this bit of the hull flexes back out as well. Another big guessing game. Here we go. That wasn't as impressive as I thought. Hopefully that flexed out. Here we go. On a positive note, it's a good place to put LED lighting. <laughs> it's nice and symmetrical. She doesn't want to pull out any more. It did come out a bit, but not as much as what I wanted it to. So now more glue, more screwing. Get this straight. This popped out a little bit, but also not as much as I wanted. But it'll come good. This is my problem at the moment. See, there's a gap, there's a bit of a dip. So I'm gonna try and get that out. I forgot to mention that this was a problem before I took the deck off. It's pretty good. See what it looks like outside. Huh, I think it's gonna be okay. You can even see that the old holes were really high. Interesting. I think I have to pump the back up a bit. Let's see what happens when I release the jack. That's fine for me. I need to get this baby in the water. Just clean this up a bit with the bandsaw. More grinding to go.
I'm very aware of the anchor compartment filling up with water. This would be nice to have the anchor on. I can only just get it to fit. I've got it tilted like that and that. I'm using this to check it. So I somehow need to get a cool shape for that. This was the easiest way I could figure out to hold the shape. Oh, I wish I had cut that out. <laughs> That's where I'm going to recess the amplifier that runs this. I glued this. This is where the toe point will go into in the front of the boat. Look at that sexy looking worker. See a problem? I've got it going the wrong way. Ah! Uh, while I've got this screwed down and it's perfectly spaced with a six mil wall thickness it will have, I'm gonna put this on, screw this on. It screws this outside and this bit plate to this piece of wood and then I've got them marked and I'll mark it on here so I know which ones go where. I'll cut it in four like that so I can split it apart easy, put iron on malamime on all of the surfaces that will have fiberglass on them and yeah, that will be good. I didn't cut through it all the way. This is so it helps me hold it together while I put the iron on malamine and also so I have a nice flat finish here.
Before I unscrewed this, I put some black marks around here. It'll center it again. And then the same thing with this one. And then I've got all the alphabet written on here. And then I screw it all back down again. The first two will be located. Only the inside is getting screwed to that panel. But I've just got it screwed to both to make sure that it lines up and everything's symmetrical, which it looks beautiful. It's really important to have a locating pin. You know, I, these longer screws will be the locating pin. They'll go all the way through. This is gonna be what presses it down. So it'll have a good looking inside and hopefully smush it all into the edges. This is the outside of the door. First I'm putting flow coat on. And it's flow coat only because I'm running low on gel coat. So I'm fiberglassing this bit, uh, 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 and then down here a bit, and then I'll smush them together. Straight too. That's that's straight. Let's do look what I made. Do you like that? That's how moulds come out, isn't it? Arnold, what do you think? Okay. Is that cool? I mean, no. <laughs> but that's pretty neat. I've got to grind it. When, it, when I grind it, it'll like make sense. Do you want in on here? Yeah. But in poo? Okay. What, you want to write poo? It's good to you. Flip open like that, and then you can get to the anchor.
Bring out another thousand, just got back from double A composites. Lots of room so it keeps it cool and maybe even be able to fit more amplifiers behind it. I try to make it as easy to pull in and out as possible. So all I have to do is take off four nuts like this. We're just um, planning on where to put the subwoofer. Oh, no. so can we go up there? Hey, yeah. Look at that sexy looking anchor well. <laughs> so it's the next day. I've just tacked this in from the front with fiberglass and this felt I just soaked in vinyl ester resin. It's nice and hard now, so now I can have some good form work to get the rest of the sides glassed up. Before I do that, I'm gonna thicken it up with some bog so I can get some nice angles. And because it's a felt, it shouldn't have a problem sticking to it because it's all rough as guts. It'll all get stuck in it. That's so I got something to staple to. This is going to have belts stretched over it.
gonna wet this out with resin now. I'm just gonna use polyester resin, but I'm thinking I might throw some basalt fiber into the resin while I'm doing it. Didn't come out that smooth because I stapled it to these rings. These are stuck in there, but I just did a quick dummy fit and I need to hack off all of that anyway. <laughs> that looks hectic. It's just sticky tape there for now. There's so much stuff crammed into the front of the boat here. It'll look way better when the side pockets are in as well. I was thinking, why am I doing this? It's gonna be really hard to sand all these bits under here once it's here like this. Normally when something's too hard, you're doing it wrong. I've found from lots of doing wrongs. I'm just gonna lay fiberglass where I've laid the sticky tape. Once that sets and I can crack it out and I can work on it easier. level all the way around i've just leveled the boat with the lift so this is meant to be level and i'm out 15 to 20 mil out so i need to reshape this entire thing and oh my gosh i was leveling it out because i need to make those bulkheads at 90 degrees to this laser here i knew it was going to be a problem i just needed to get going at the time and now I have to fix it. More grinding. Look at how awesome that looks. The reason it's important to level out this side so that the windows are all level and straight looking. So then the hoop sits on top straight and level. And so the roof joins onto the hoop level and straight. I hope that made sense. I managed to sand this down real close to that side. So out of these, I made a stencil onto some big sheets and I covered the edges with malamine so I can have solid fiberglass bulkhead. I've got this three mil flat bar screwed into the mold because I don't want to grind. It'll be recessed at the bottom of the panel so I can uh, key it in neater to the floor. This is going to be a little pigeonhole that you can get through under the passenger seat. I thought it might be handy. Dad did these, these bits that went in here. Pretty solid. Yes. Yeah, but feel that. Oh, yeah. It hurts me in my head. <laughs> if it's not the best Bertram in the planet, it'll be the heaviest one. I will definitely help clean it. First, we'll have to vacuum. Set of fiber, fiber. Glass. Fiberglass. Try again. Fiberglass. Same resin. Resin. <laughs> resin. Oh, that was yeah. a big yeah. sneeze. <laughs> Bless me. <laughs> Dropping. Okay. 
have to remember that I was going to bring these lasers. It's going to be huge. Look at this. It will be compared to our jet ski. <laughs> Woo! We got a jet ski! Please like and subscribe. You don't have to if you want to be an idiot. Do you guys prefer no voiceover?